Okay, YouTube viewers, this is Axter99 again. <clears throat> what I want to do is show you not my refrigerator and what's in it, but <clears throat> one item in particular. <clears throat> I forgot to uh, actually show you the start of this recipe. What this is is pulled pork. And I want to apologize. I actually forgot to show you the whole process, and I actually already got some of it going. What I've actually done is I bought a, a pork shoulder and it came in two pieces. It was right about $20, about a buck 69 a pound for 12, 13 pounds of uh, pulled pork. Has a big slab of uh, fat on it. I mean, it is pretty fatty meat, but what it is is actually a pork, pork shoulder. You could go to your, your deli and ask for it uh, if they don't have it uh, in your favorite grocery store. I buy mine from Costco if you have a Costco and what I've done is simply taken the meat it comes in two pieces when I buy it and I've taken it out of the package and I've ran it under cold water under my sink and rinsed it all off real good and then all I've done is taken some mustard and slab some mustard on it just pour some mustard on it kind of move it around with my hands and spread it around all over any exposed meat so if you got a a slit in the middle of this meat here you just open that up and get mustard everywhere you can and then what I do is I mix um, I mix a dry rub and I use like sea salt some real coarse salt uh, say you know I'm just gonna give you a rough estimate maybe I'm gonna say about three tablespoons of coarse salt two tablespoons of black pepper a good quarter cup maybe a little bit more of paprika you can throw in some you know a little bit of garlic salt if you want I wouldn't go too much any other kind of seasoning you have, if you have an organic seasoning, I probably put a couple of tablespoons of that in there. Um, you know, just some kind of all around seasoning. Um, and then if you just want to go, you know, a little bit of cayenne pepper, you can go just a tad of cayenne pepper, depending on how much heat you like. You know, just experiment with it and mix all that dry rub together. And what you're gonna do is just take that dry rub and sprinkle a little bit on top of that mustard on your meat. And again, don't be afraid to get your hand dirty and you're gonna spread that around uh, and rub it into your meat. And then you're going to flip this baby around uh, on its backside. Do the same thing. Mustard first, spread the mustard around. Take some more of that dry rub, spread it around, get it on every piece of exposed meat. If you have a slit in the meat, you're going to open that up, get it as rubbed into any exposed meat you can. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take some saran wrap, just like I've done here, and you're going to wrap that up. Uh, and you're going to put it back in your fridge. You want to refrigerate it overnight, at least eight hours. I recommend 8-12 to 12 hours of uh, being refrigerated. Let this uh, rub that you got do its work. Get some flavor into that meat. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to throw half of it about like this into your crock pot. Almost everybody has a crock pot. You're going to put that crock pot on low. You know, wake up in the morning. If you want to eat about, you know, 6 o'clock, I'd put it in about no later than 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. And just put it on low. Let it go to work. And about, you know, mid-afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock, what I like to do when it's a little bit tender, obviously it's not going to be done yet then, but what you can do is just take a, a knife and cut it up into pieces in your crock pot, and that way it'll allow it to cook quicker. So if you can cut it up in, you know, eighths or something like that, cut up in quarters and then cut every piece in half again, that's going to allow it to cook a little quicker, so it'll be done a little quicker for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got here. Um, once I've actually put this in a crock pot uh, for about seven hours, seven, eight hours, I'm going to show you what turns up here right now. All right, I am back with my pork shoulder here, and we're still cooking on low. We've been cooking on low for about uh, seven hours now. And you know, a couple hours ago, I actually took my knife so the meat was getting tender enough where I could take a knife and and uh, basically just cut it up so it would cook faster and it's starting to get to the point now where it looks like it's pretty tender so let's just take a look at this and see how well this uh, what you're looking for with pulled pork is you want the meat tender enough to where it easily pulls apart with two forks so we'll see if we got that now or if we need to wait just a little bit longer All right, so we're just going to go ahead and see uh, what we got here as far as this uh, 
pork and as you can see already this pork is a lot of it is just pulling apart gotta be careful of all that juice now one thing I've noticed with this pork shoulder before is that you see a lot of juice in here but what's cool is it looks like you're just gonna have a ton of liquid left but if you pull this meat apart and you let it just continue to cook on low it will actually like suck up all that juice or most of that juice and that'll help make it really tender so and it's pretty easy to do this in a crock pot like I say And I'm just continuing to work this here with two forks uh, and it's just pretty much falling apart here at this point. What I'm going to try to do is get it apart the best that I can here and probably add a little bit of seasoning to it. Let it suck up a lot of this uh, this juice in here and uh, which it will do if you just let it continue to simmer on low for another half hour to an hour and then you're going to be talking about some good eats. I do like to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. I've added quite a bit of salt and pepper to the rub, but a lot of that uh, doesn't get on the inside real well. So a little bit more seasoning uh, definitely isn't going to hurt. But the good thing about this pulled pork here is, I mean, even hamburger meat right now, I just paid $3.29 a pound or something like that for 80-20 hamburger meat. Uh, and it's very expensive. Uh, we just bought this pork shoulder, and I think it was like a dollar seventy-nine a pound, either a dollar sixty-nine a pound, dollar seventy-nine a pound. Um, really cheap, and for as good as it is, I mean, to me, this is a lot better than hammer. I mean, as far as the overall taste when it's done, you know, the only thing is you just got to be a little bit patient. You got to put a rub on it the night before to make it taste good, and you got to slow cook it. Now, I've actually cooked uh, pulled pork. I used to smoke it. Uh, outside, but I mean that uses a lot of propane or a lot of charcoal or whatever method you're using to to smoke it and To me it just doesn't pay off quite as much as maybe smoking a brisket or smoking some some ribs or something like that to me, you know, just do this inside use a uh, a uh, Crock pot like this and just slow cook it inside and add some you know spices and stuff like that And it's gonna be you know out of this world good and it can't be any easier. You know, you don't have to go check on this all the time like you would if it was outside on a, on a smoker or something. Um, and you just continue to, I cut it up, like I say, you know, about, well, after four or five hours, I start cutting up into some pieces to help it cook faster. And then after about, looks like about seven or eight hours, just depending on the size of your pork shoulder and everything, um, it's just gonna start falling apart just like this. And, you know, I don't know if you can start seeing how good that is, but as you can see, I'm, as I'm shredding this uh, pork shoulder, all that moisture that was in there before, I mean, is starting to be sucked up by the, the meat as it's being shred apart. So what that means is it just means that it's going to be all that more tender when you go and take a bite. Okay, while well, I continue to shred this just a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more seasoning and do that I'm probably going to add some salt remember you got quite a bit of meat there so you're going to want to you know not be uh, stingy on your on your spicing just want to mix it in well that's all Got any of that organic seasoning from Costco or something similar? Definitely recommend that. Um, you could put a little brown sugar in here to kind of sweeten the taste up just a little bit, and I think I might do that. It just doesn't take a lot of brown sugar, but I'm going to go ahead and add just a probably just a handful of brown sugar to it. Just to give it a hint of sweetness. 
And that there is probably about a half a cup, maybe a little bit more than a half a cup of brown sugar. And we're talking about six pounds of meat there. That's about six, six and a half pounds of meat. Okay, we've got our brown sugar, a little more pepper in here, a little more salt, uh, some more organic seasoning that I like to buy from Costco, Kirkland Organic Seasoning. Stuff is so good on so many different things. And I do what I want to do because this is getting torn up and starting to suck up all that moisture, like I said. Um, what I want to do is I want to let it cook maybe another 30 minutes to an hour. Continue, just continue, you know, cooking it on low. But what I want to do is just mix in well all that pepper and salt and organic seasoning and the brown sugar that I added to it. Get that all melded in well so that those flavors can, can start working throughout the meat. I mean, once you get it to this point, it's really not even tearing the meat apart with forks anymore. It's just stirring it, and the stuff just falls apart as you stir it. I mean, that's how tender this uh, this meat is. And it couldn't be any easier, like I say. Throw it in a crock pot and just let it set for eight hours on low. Don't ever turn it higher than low. You don't want to try to cook this stuff fast, or you're not going to get this end result. Pulled pork is just not something that you you cook fast. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this back up. And I'm gonna let that continue to cook for probably another 30 minutes before I eat. But as you can see, looking at it now, most of that moisture that was in there, that was uh, over the top of that meat before, is uh, now gone. It's being sucked up by that meat. And that is just a fantastic pulled pork gonna make a fantastic pulled pork sandwich. All right, I'm ready to go ahead and make me a sandwich out of this uh, pulled pork. Just gonna put me on just a little bit of mayonnaise on each slice of bread. All right. It's actually gonna be some of this absolutely outstanding pulled pork we've got going here. Notice all that juice that was, like I said before, was overflowing the meat, has now been completely sucked up by the meat. I promise you I haven't actually sucked it up with a straw or anything. It actually does go right into that meat when you do it just like this. Put me a nice little generous helping of meat on that bread. Cover my meat back up. Now here's where, if you had any coleslaw or you wanted to put a, you know, a slice of tomato on there, maybe some onion, uh, would be real good. I think it's going to be fine just like that. I just can't wait to take a bite out of this. And uh, looking at that, you can see that that is going to be a delicious pulled pork sandwich right there. That homemade honey wheat bread and home cooked crock pot style pulled pork. Uh, can't describe to you how good this actually is and uh, the only way I can the only thing I can tell you is to go home or go out and get your pork shoulder you know put that rub on it overnight like I showed you mostly pepper salt and paprika anything else you want to add uh, refrigerate it overnight at least 8 to 12 hours and then put it in a crock pot in the morning put it in by about uh, 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning by 6 p.m. you're gonna have some nice pulled pork just like this about mid-afternoon, you know, cut it up in pieces, help it cook out, help it, help it cook better, uh, and then start just, you know, pulling it apart right around 5, 36 o'clock. Uh, should be ready for you. And you're going to have yourself a nice pulled pork sandwich just like this. Be sure you leave your comments, questions, suggestions uh, below. I'd like to read all those. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. And for that, signing off, this is Zaxter99.